Today I'm going to show you a simple rattle fly that I'm using for salt water. You can use it for fresh water as well. It works really good in dirty or stained water and it's very simple to tie. I'm going to start out, I have a number four hook. You can use whatever size appropriate for the fish you are targeting. I've already wrapped it up with my thread. I'm going to take my piece of monofilament or fluorocarbon, whatever you have handy. I'm going to lay that along the top of the shank and I'm going to wrap that all the way down even with the barb, making sure I keep it on top. Then I'm going to get my rattles and what I'm using is glass beads. They come in any kind of size and shape, color you could want. I have uh, clear ones here as well that are a bit bigger. This is a lifetime supply of gold ones. We're going to get a couple of those and depending on what size hook you're using, what size bead you have, you may need only two or you may need more than two and this is for me the hardest part of this whole fly is threading these things on I'm going to use two it's just enough to make a little bit of noise I don't need to make a lot of noise with this thing just enough to get them looking in the direction of this fly I'm going to slip them onto that mono then I'm going to bend it back down towards the eye of the hook bring my thread forward I'm going to give it a couple loose wraps so that I can adjust what size this is. This was a little too big. I'm going to pull it down just so there's enough room that these beads can slide back and forth. So they're going to slide back and forth and clank into each other like that. Now I can give it a few tighter wraps. Pull this back, cut it off, finish winding that in. And then to make it secure, put a little dab of glue right there. The rest of this fly is going to be very similar to the bend back fly that I tie, except that I'm not going to be bending this hook. The good thing about these beads is not only do they make noise, they make sure that the fly rides hook point up, so it's really good for staying out of the grass. Where I fish, there's a lot of grass on the bottom and this makes it easy to come out of there and stay out of there. For the wing material I'm going to be using some bucktail. You can use whatever you feel is appropriate. I have a little piece of a tan bucktail. I'm going to hold that just behind the eye of the hook. Give it a few loose wraps to make. Then I'm going to pull straight down. I can finish wrapping that thing on there. I'm going to lift up the wing. Come under here a couple times. This will help make sure that it doesn't lay down flat and it will keep that thing right up here above and even with the hook point. The final thing I'm going to add is a little bit of flash material. For this one I'm going to use gold. I find this is a good uh, shrimp imitation fly from a redfish and trout around here. I'm going to fold that around the thread, bring it up just behind the eye wrap that in so it lays on top of the wing and I'm going to finish by tying off my thread and in less than four minutes we've built our rattle fly we we'll glue up that trim off the ends and make sure it's even and just to give you an idea of what you're going to get here if you got your volume turned up You can hear the fly rattling that I've previously made. It's a very subtle little rattle. Too much noise can often spook these fish. This fly will catch you some redfish, trout, and black drum in dirty or stained water. Real easy to tie. Check the description below for the list of materials that you will need. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and check notifications so that you get notified of all my future videos. Thanks.